Ever since the first Alberta healthcare worker got her COVID-19 vaccine, we've been told that the jab is mostly effective, but not 100% at stopping infection. Easily illustrated, when we take a look at Alberta's new COVID-19 case numbers and hospitalizations based on vaccine status. So the majority of people have been vaccinated, but the vast majority of people that get infected have not been vaccinated. The department head in infectious disease at the University of Calgary points to the rough numbers. Around 6 in 10 of all Albertans are fully vaccinated. Compare, out of all new COVID-19 cases... 9 out of 10 people have not been vaccinated. So really the only thing that we can say about vaccinated is that the infection tends to be less severe. But as we hear about friends and neighbours and even celebrities like Hilary Duff catching the coronavirus while fully vaxxed, Dr. Modi says there is no way of knowing who is more likely to have a breakthrough infection. But says if you're at higher risk of complications from COVID, he recommends taking precautions like masking, hand washing and social distancing while well, community spread is high regardless of vaccine status. The fact that the majority of people have been vaccinated actually has had an effect on deaths and has had an effect on ICU but not much on hospitalizations, you know, a little on hospitalizations. Estimating Alberta's case counts in the fourth wave are on track to be about the same as the third. And as new scientific studies begin to show that over time we somewhat lose our vaccine immune response. Now it's becoming crystal clear that, you know, while our hope was the vaccine would be forever, it's not. Dr. Modi not surprised because it's been proven those infected with COVID also lose some of their natural immunity, but at a much quicker rate than the vax. It's also not the first vaccine to need boosters. So unlike tetanus the past 10 years, coronavirus vaccines are, you know, starting to wane at eight months and probably, you know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.